Hey gang, Professor McElroy here. It's 6.30. We are on week three, learning module three of digital animation and effects. One for the January 22 section. Uh, I posted a, a pre-recorded lecture earlier in the week to kind of kickstart the week, kind of get you guys going, uh, highlighting the bone tool and creating that armature structure where you create poses and kind of move uh, the motion around and create movie symbols for all the parts of your animation and create a seamless and smooth motion. I've received uh, chapter assignments from most of you and you're doing really well following along, picking up the basic skills of uh, Adobe Animate, our 2D animation program. I hope that you're enjoying the process and that you uh, are having fun with it and it is time uh, intensive at times to do animations and build your symbols and create your timelines and your layers, uh, create some code snippets to do some basic uh, commands for controlling interactivity, buttons and stop actions and things like that. As you migrate through a little bit deeper into your chapters, you start getting into what I call like a kiosk dashboard or a multimedia wireframe where you're creating basic little interactive buttons that control content across the timeline or a scene environment. Uh, your book does like a little menu website type thing for a restaurant. That's pretty cool. I can visualize that being at a booth uh, tablet that you just pick up and you click through. And now with COVID, they don't want to print things that they're using over and over and over again. So lots of restaurants have gone to QR codes where you scan the QR code and that pulls up the menu for the restaurant. Lots of ways to introduce multimedia in this, into the service industry. And Adobe Animate is perfect for that. So I hope you're enjoying the process. I hope you've been watching my recorded lectures to kind of kick off our topics. Uh, I hope you're paying attention and practicing as you navigate through the chapter assignments. I think the Classroom in a Book 2021 edition has some really professional, quality, fun assignments. I hope you're enjoying them as well. Remember the due dates are just to keep you on track, but if you're working through projects kind of at your pace, just make sure you stay communicating with me so I know how you're doing. Part of that is participation in the course each week. And the other part is just so that I know you're gonna be able to have the time to finish your assignments in a timely manner. We're in week three, which we means next week is week four and it's an open lab week. So I will post just a recording kind of kicking off our final project, but you will have the entire week to complete any outstanding work and also your final out of book project. Keeping in mind that next Sunday at uh, midnight, we will uh, be done with the session. So I typically process grades by Monday afternoon. So if Sunday night at midnight, the, the kind of the clock ticks and you still have a couple of things you just wanna tie up, I do give my classes till Monday at lunch and lunchtime in order to turn in any outstanding work. Uh, great job so far. I'm gonna stay on just to see if anyone pops in, but most of you have been, well, actually all of you, have been doing the course as an online asynchronous experience, which means you watch it at a later date. So I'm gonna stay on for a little bit of time to see if anybody has any questions or anything like that. But uh, uh, I will be kind of stopping the recording portion of it so that I can just be on for any questions that might pop up if anyone logs in. But the first couple of weeks, I haven't had anyone log in during the actual live lecture. Everyone's been watching it at a later date. 